Well, as we mentioned in our last half hour, it is the end of an era here on Action News. Anchor Jim Gardner is stepping away from the 11 o'clock newscast where he has served the viewers for four decades. It's the first step in his plan to fully retire at the end of this year after a career that has covered so many big stories in the Delaware Valley. Action News, Delaware Valley's leading news program with Jim Gardner. For four and a half decades, Jim Gardner has been the most trusted and most watched source for news in the Delaware Valley. Jim came to Action News in 1976, first as noon anchor and reporter. By the next year, Jim moved to the 6 and 11. And since then, he has been the credible voice you have relied on to end your day. It is Thursday night, and the big story tonight is an Action News exclusive. From the Philadelphia politics of Mayor Frank Rizzo to Mayor Jim Kenney. In the vicinity of the Move House in West Philadelphia. The bombing on the Move organization killed 11. The blaze at one Meridian Plaza killed three firefighters. And a fire in Fairmount just last week claimed 12 lives. There was the Center City building collapse, violent protests and unrest in the wake of George Floyd's death, and record homicides in the city of Philadelphia. But the big story on Action News is the full force of Mother Nature and the constant threat of tragedy. Jim has guided the region through major weather threats, tornadoes to blizzards. 22 and a half inches of snow have officially fallen hurricanes. There were celebrations on Broad Street, the Phillies winning two World Series, and the Eagles finally winning that Super Bowl championship. Jim led the Action News team coverage of two papal visits, Pope John Paul II in 1979 and Pope Francis in 2015. And he's covered political conventions through the decades, including the RNC in Philadelphia in 2000 and the DNC in 2016. September 11th, the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, global stories with local impact, and the biggest story still unfolding, the COVID-19 pandemic. Health officials say COVID-19 infections are spiking at an alarming rate of across the United States. Through it all, Jim has committed to the highest standards of journalism. Jim owns his shows and is so concerned about getting them right and the tone and the pacing. He's always working. He's always trying to make sure that he knows the whole landscape of what's going on in the world. I've never worked with anybody who cares as deeply about every detail as Jim. Jim set the standard at Action News and raised the bar for everyone in the newsroom. He demands excellence, attention to detail, but it's great working with him because it makes the individuals better. He encouraged me to be more expansive in my thinking about what news is, what the news program is, and what it means to the people who are watching. He has great standards, and he has an expectation that the people around him have the same sorts of standards. And it's Jim's integrity that has earned the trust of generations of Action News viewers. The one thing that wasn't different then and isn't different now is Jim's commitment to the job and to the viewers. It's always been a sacred trust to him and still is. I've really appreciated working with him. I've learned a lot from him and I'll, I'll miss having him on the 11. But for all the serious news business, Jim doesn't take himself too seriously. This is a talented broadcast. Well, why you really are. Why that? To be able to make sense out of this kind of a <laughs> script. <laughs> Thank you. Oops. <laughs> okay, we're good. I'm looking into the sports crystal ball. Thank you very much, Jim, for adjusting that. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 Jim O'Brien is standing by in case I can't finish this news game. And the Action News at 11 sign-off will never quite be the same. Jimmy's guest tonight, Billy Crystal, with music from Jeezy and French. <laughs> Mike, <laughs> oh, you got to be kidding. Zoe Saldana, how do you say her name? Yeah. That was right. For the entire Action News team, I'm Jim Gardner. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> so you can join Jim for his 11 o'clock finale tonight here on 6ABC. Yeah, from then on, you got to hear it from Jim every weeknight only on Action News at 6. Yeah, yeah. quite a body of work. I think he deserves evenings off. What do you think? <laughs> I think he's earned it. After 40 now. years. <laughs> quite the legend, yeah. and thanks for all he does for he's us. He's made here all of us better journalists. Yeah.